Good morning, glad you could join us. Excited about what we've got today. So Viktor Frankl wrote the book, uh, Man's Search for Meaning, and he spent years and years in um, concentration camps, Auschwitz and, and otherwise. But he was a psychiatrist prior and after, and um, I, I think he wrote a, a very interesting book. But he said that over the course of four years, he was at Austria's largest uh, state hospital, and he was in charge of a pavilion that had severely depressed patients, and most of them had been mid admitted after attempting suicide. He, he believes that he spent time with 12,000 people over those four years that had attempted suicide. And one of the things that, that he really tried to convey to them was that he knew scores of people amongst them that after they had attempted suicide had found that whatever it was that was leading them to that depression, leading them to that point where they were so discouraged that they sought to take their life, that they were so glad that they had failed. And he would communicate that. And he said, how do you know you're not going to find the meaning for your life? How, how do you know that you're not going to find that? Because so many people do. And you may not find it till, till the very end, but the, regardless, you may find the meaning for your life. And I think that's just a really good word. One of the things that I like to say to people is, you don't know how your story is going to end. I don't know how my story is going to end. I believe it's going to end on a high note. I really believe that. Now, obviously, it's going to end with, with death, but that's beside the point. That's how every story ends. Well, isn't that the way it is with our lives, that, that we're not going to fully understand it until, until it's right at the end? Let me just ask you something. I'm 62. How old are you? Well, subtract 20 years. Does life look the same to you now? If so, I'll answer for me. When I was 42? The answer is no. How about when I was 22? No. <laughs> not at all. It's way different. And I can only imagine that in the final chapter, with the perspective, if I know that it's really the final chapter, down to the final pages, that I think it's going to look very, very different. One of the other things that Viktor Frankl talks about is like making a movie. And the guy who's, the, the person who's making the movie, they know how the story is going to end. We, when we watch it, we don't. Now, what's it comprised of? All these individual, you know, if you take a film like that, old school movie film, not video, you've got all these different frames. You ever do that when you would write in, a, in the corner of a notebook and you could just do this and you, you could make different figures and you could make a move when you, if you know what I'm talking about, you do, if you don't, you don't. But each different picture, each and every one, it's like, well, it doesn't hold the meaning of the whole story, but you put the whole thing together. And how about this? Did you ever watch a movie and you're like, it's okay, it's interesting, up, down, around, and then at the end you're just like, wow. That... What just happened at the very end changed everything that transpired before. Sometimes it's extremely redemptive, sometimes it's the opposite. But I can think of one movie, I don't remember exactly when it was out, I think it was out in the 80s, The Color Purple. And, and I remember watching it and, and I enjoyed it, but I always tell people, if you're going to watch The Color Purple, make sure you watch the end of the movie, because it will change how you view the entire movie. Your life may be that way. Even if you have no struggle with depression or, or anything, that's just one way of looking at it. But your story is not over, and God is the master storyteller. May you allow the Holy Spirit to just tell a better story through your life. God bless you. Have a great day.